vehicle 200 feet long and 30 or 40 feet high, hovering for over an hour and a half under telescope observation, is certainly something that's beyond our present understanding of aerodynamics. Of course, under the theories, the pyramid was uh, an anti-gravitational engine and that they reversed the gravity and that's how, that's one of the theories they have on these, on these uh, vehicles. But it means that there's a technology we don't know about somewhere in the, in the cosmos. And we're talking to Constable Jim Blackwood of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Detachment in Clarenville, Newfoundland. It's a normal reaction uh, from any human being. Uh, you would say, well, anybody's talking about a flying saucer or a UFO, well, it's uh, a lot of mumbo jumbo. Uh, I say probably a lot of people here in Newfoundland don't believe these things. Now, the blue flashing lights, there was one on this side here and one on the other side of the vehicle, and the red light was approximately here. Then it turned to the other side. I could see the other light flashing, and then it turned back onto me again. From the, uh, the, uh, just slowly turning? Just slowly, yes. It wasn't a quick movement. And then it made quick movements up and down and then back and forth this way, always returning to the same position where it was before. Now, the structure, I couldn't tell what the structure was, but I could plainly see there was no windows of any type on the object. Uh, I couldn't see any openings where a door would be or anything like that. It was, uh, it was obvious that it was a metallic structure, but the uh, what type of metal, I wouldn't care to guess, but it, it, wasn't, uh, it didn't seem like aluminum, where aluminum shines. This was like a dull metal, port, looked, uh, very porous dull metal. There was no markings? None whatsoever, no. So while I I've, uh, take up airplane building as a hobby myself, I've known uh, I've known just about every aircraft ever built, uh, but this is the first one of this design that I've ever seen or even read about. A ten to two in the morning on the early morning of the Thursday morning of the 26th of October 1978, we received a call from a local uh, resident here in Clarenville. Uh, at the time. Uh, I was on the other side of Clarenville. I couldn't uh, see the object, so I patrolled down to what we call Marine Drive. The, there was something flying in the sky and that it uh, appeared to be a UFO, and it was just hovering just on the uh, <coughs> east, the northeast coast of Random Island. Well, the sky was clear. Uh, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I was a bit bewildered at first as to what it was. I was very astonished. 